Yeah, welcome to point to point channel. Uh, so today I'm going to discuss about uh, lazy loading versus eager loading uh, with respect to at rate one to one association. So I'm going to cover what exactly lazy loading uh, and eager loading and uh, when we get lazy initialization exception and how to mitigate that and why lazy loading does not work at parent entity side. <clears throat> Sorry, how to fix this issue. Okay, so without wasting time, let's jump into the coding part. Yeah, so if you see in my previous video, I already discussed about at the rate one to one unidirectional and as well as bidirectional mapping. So here in this bidirectional mapping, uh, however, I will give you a recap of what exactly I have done at high level. So I have two entities, employee and as well as laptop, where employee is a parent entity and laptop is a child entity. So I have established a bidirectional association between these two entities. Okay, and I have these uh, two repositories for these two entities and uh, this is just a main class here you can see. So th this is, uh, yes, sorry, this one, this is just a main class and uh, the resources I have application.properties where I just maintained a database related uh, properties. So I'm, uh, I'm just connecting with MySQL database for this uh, demo. Okay, so here uh, I have one test case. So in my previous bidirectional association, okay, uh, so I already discussed, I mean, uh, uh, how to insert the records, how to fetch the records of both from child entity side and as well as parent entity side and similarly how to delete a records. So we have already gone through all these uh, uh, test case scenarios. So now since our objective is to discuss about uh, lazy loading versus eager loading, so better to focus on that one. Uh, so <clears throat> here, uh, um, so just have a look in the database. Okay, so here uh, we have three records, uh, three laptop records. Here you can see one, two, three. Where third record is a, uh, what do you say, whose ID is four, uh, is not assigned to any employee. And similarly, here you can see uh, we have three employee records. Okay, <clears throat> so where, uh, um, I mean, em employee whose ID is four, uh, uh, I mean, does not have any laptop. Okay, so now, okay, so let's, <clears throat> so let's scroll down scroll down yeah so if you see here in the laptop okay so yeah we have this uh, uh, parent entity association so here if you see fetch is equal to fetch type dot lazy okay so first we will discuss about eager loading and then we will discuss about lazy loading right so as i said earlier for at the rate one to one the default uh, fetch type is eager <clears throat> so we no need to specify uh, this particular one or even you can specify explicitly eager also. So let's specify eager. Okay. So now <coughs> Yeah, so here if you see this uh, specific test case scenario what exactly we are doing we are fetching a specific uh, laptop record <coughs> So whose ID is uh, oh, one right? So here you can see we are uh, trying to uh, fetch its company details and as well as uh, uh, so laptop dot get employee dot get name and its respective employee records name also we are trying to fetch right so the, uh, this is kind of a fetch operation from the child entity side so let's uh, let's debug this uh, scenario uh, yeah it will take a while so just bear with me. Yeah, it's uh, just starting. So, uh, since we have specified a eager fetching here, eager fetching. So, as soon as I fetch a laptop record, okay, it, it will fetch its uh, corresponding employee details in a single query, in a single shot. Okay. So, here if, if you see, uh, yeah, let it stop at that break point. We will discuss here. Yeah, so as part of eager loading, it will fetch laptop and as well as its corresponding employee details in a single trial, single shot. Okay, so here if you see, uh, let's examine the laptop. Okay, so here you can see, see laptop ID, uh, ID model company and as well as you can see, employee details also so, uh, mean fetched uh, simultaneously. Here you can see both laptop details and as well as employee details. And if you see, uh, yeah so if you see here 
it has already fired one query with the database okay so here i can see um, yeah so here you can see uh, clearly it has uh, uh, it has formed one join query uh, laptop with employee table here you can see laptop company laptop dot employee okay and uh, a model and here you can see employee details and here you can see from laptop left out or join this is important left out or join with employee and this is just a kind of a uh, i mean common condition right on laptop so it, so so overall what i'm trying to say here is whenever we uh, have a eager fetching so then um, so it is just fetching laptop details and also corresponding employee details by forming a, a join query join query uh, with uh, laptop and its respective employee right so by that way i mean uh, uh, what you say uh, what do you say it will fetch company and as well as its com employees name so let us uh, resume the flow okay. let's resume the flow so obviously test case will be passed okay so <clears throat> so this is eager loading right so now let's uh, see what is lazy loading okay so here let's change this fetch type to lazy lazy that's it okay so now let's rerun the same same test case once again So, so now what happens? Okay, so since we, so since we uh, have a fetch type of lazy, okay, uh, with employee. So whenever we fetch the laptop, what happens? It will fire a query only to fetch the laptop details. It will never fetch its its corresponding employee details. Why? Because it's kind of a lazy loading. Okay. So usually, I mean, uh, uh, so whenever uh, Whenever we, we invoke its uh, uh, corresponding employee, so generally it will fire one more query to fetch its employee details. Okay, so that's the concept of lazy loading. So let's see here. Okay, so here if you see a laptop, okay, here it has already fetched all laptop details, but if you see here employee, here you can see lazy initialization exception. Okay, so cannot evaluate the lazy initial, I mean, uh, employee proxy or something like that, right? To string method. So, what does it mean? So, here, okay, this particular line, okay, laptop, laptop is good, laptop repository dot find by ID. So, internally, it has already enclosed a transaction. So, that means as soon as it fetches, okay, so within the transaction it will open one session and it will uh, fetch respective laptop details and immediately that session uh, has been closed and the transaction has been ended so now okay when when we are uh, trying to fetch uh, what is say this particular line so when you go to this particular line laptop.getemployee.getName so then already session has been closed now now we are trying to fetch the employee details on the detached session reference this this laptop uh, this laptop is a uh, nowhere uh, uh, nowhere have association with that particular session why because session has already been ended so now now obviously it will throw lazy initialization exception so right uh, so here okay le let me let me show you okay here if you see okay here if you see it has fired only one simple sample uh, select query okay here you can see i mean a laptop uh, normal laptop uh, details okay and uh, uh, from laptop laptop where laptop.id so here you can observe that there is no join query why because it's a lazy loading it's fetching only laptop details okay now i mean as part of this particular line we are trying to fetch get employee details however i mean as i said i mean the, the session has already been closed okay so that's why we are uh, not able to invoke respective employee details it will it will uh, through lazy initialization exception so let's see here you can see test case is failed okay so here you can clearly see okay here see lazy initialization exception and you can see the uh, exception details also could not initialize the proxy okay no session why because session has already been closed as part of this particular line okay so then how to how to resolve this issue how to uh, what you say how to take that uh, control of transaction uh, in our control okay so for that what we need to do okay so let me 
let me create one more class okay just for demo purpose okay so here uh, so here <clears throat> so let's create one package utility okay for example utility okay so let's create one class one class okay so lazy testing lazy testing for example okay so lazy testing so i'm just enclosing with the uh, thread component thread component okay and inside that private laptop repository laptop repository okay i'm just enclosing with at the rate auto wide at the rate auto wide yeah auto wide so now i'm just writing one test case public uh, sorry not test case i'm writing one method okay so public void <coughs> okay fetch laptop okay fetch laptop <coughs> so yeah so now i'm just moving this piece of code from here to that uh, newly written method okay so newly written method so where is that method yeah so here <coughs> okay so now i am uh, just auto wearing this newly written class over here so here you can see private private lazy lazy testing so this one lazy testing and just annotate with the uh, rate auto wide okay so now uh, now come down yeah so now just invoke uh, that specific method lazy testing dot fetch laptop right so now here if you see <clears throat> okay we need to we need to annotate this particular one with uh, transactional okay, transactional so here if you see so now what does it mean so whenever flow reaches to this particular line here okay since we have enclosed at the transactional so now what does it mean okay so whenever we fetch a laptop record whose id is 1 okay the session will not be closed okay it will still attached with that session okay so once we come out of this particular method then only that session will be closed and transaction will be ended so in that case okay so initially it will fetch only laptop details and uh, as part of this specific invocation laptop.getemployee.getName so then it will fire one more query to fetch respect to employee details so let's see in practical okay i am rerunning the same same test case once again it will take a while yeah so here if you see yeah already kept the breakpoint here <coughs> so it's up and running okay let it stop here bear with me yeah so here if you see already the flow reaches this perspective line so now there are no nothing in the console let me move to next slide okay let's resume the flow yeah here you can see here you can see it has fired only one query as part of lazy loading here you can see so as i uh, as i said just now it has fired only one query to fetch only laptop details here you can see only laptop details from lap laptop laptop who's left aware laptop id is got something it has uh, not fired any join query right so now if you see uh, if you just move to next line so here this line is important right so and moreover let's see here i am i'm expanding this one see see this time it's not at all showing lazy initialization exception here you can see it, it's not at all showing any lazy initialization exception and moreover if we expand also 
uh, see you can see all the employee details are it is showing zero null on all those things so what does it mean it has fetched only employee details and uh, uh, what do you say uh, respect to employee details uh, are just having with the default values okay that means it has not fetched respect to employee details now it is about to fetch as part of this line execution so now if you see um, so if I resume the flow okay if I yeah if I resume the flow yeah if I resume the flow so then if you see here yeah so here you can see now it has filed a join query why because now we are uh, about to fetch its respect to employee details right here you can see now it has it has uh, fired a join query so obviously it will fire a join query right to fetch its respect to employee details so initially it has fetched only laptop details and as part of this invocation now it has established a join query to fetch its respect to employee details so this is a eager loading and uh, lazy loading with respect to child entity okay now we will discuss about uh, uh, with, uh, the same concepts with respect to parent entity okay let's come back here okay so now uh, parent entity in the sense uh, so this particular one okay here you can see fetch employee record so now when i fetch employee record will it really fetch its respective laptop details or not okay so let's see here uh, okay here also the same thing fetch is equal to fetch step dot eager and lazy so now here uh, okay i specified eager right i specified eager so obviously it will pull respect to laptop details okay so now let's uh, run this test case okay <clears throat> um oh it's already executed i guess so let's see Yeah, wait for a moment <clears throat> yeah so let it stop here yeah. so here you can see console is empty okay so now let's uh, okay so here you can see you can see okay yeah um, so what happened employee um, left out to join laptop from employee yeah so since it is a eager loading okay since it is a eager loading okay so what's happening okay here you can see um okay it has it has uh, formed a join query from employee side with the laptop here you can see from employee left out join laptop it is expected right so obviously uh, this test case will pass okay so i'm just resuming the flow I'm just resuming the flow okay so test case is passed right now okay let's change it the fetch type to lazy 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 let's read on the same test case once again so then um, since we change it to lazy fetching so uh, ideally what it should do it it should fetch only employee details okay in the uh, first time okay for the first time and later it is supposed to fire one more query to fetch its respect to laptop details right let's see what happens okay so yeah so flow has been stopped here okay so if you see if 
console is empty okay i'm just moving the floor to next slide so here okay here if you see so now just observe one thing as soon as i change the fetch type from eager to lazy here okay eager to lazy so here you can see okay here uh, it has fired two queries okay two queries the first query is as i said only to fetch the employee details okay so why because it is a lazy loading okay from employee where employee is equal to something so that is expected now if you see there is one more query so there is one more query here if you see okay uh, so this query is like uh, select laptop details with the help of this respective employee id so why because we have the employee id right in our hand so we are with the help of that employee id i am also trying to fetch the laptop details right so now i mean as part of lazy loading okay as part of lazy loading um what do you say so i didn't try to fetch its respective laptop details okay so as soon as this uh, line gets executed internally it is firing two queries okay one one query is to fetch only employee details and the second query is to fetch its respective laptop details based on that employee id okay so ideally ideally what should happen i mean it should fetch only employee details first and when i reach to the next line okay when i reach to this line okay so then internally it should uh, fire one more query to fetch its lap lap respective laptop details right so so that's the uh, that's the benefit of lazy loading right but uh, but in contrast in the case of a parent entity to child entity side so as i shown just now as part of this line execution only internally it has fired two queries so which is not uh, uh, optimistic right so it impacts the performance right why because see for example i am uh, i am interested only this particular line let's assume i am interested to fetch only employee name that's it but even then it is firing two queries right to fetch the employee details and the second query is to fetch its laptop details unnecessarily it is fetching the laptop even i am not uh, interested i am i'm least bothered about the laptop details so still it is fetching the uh, laptop details right so so in that case lazy loading is not working as expected lazy loading is also working in, uh, similar to eager loading right here so so that's the uh, that's the issue uh, from I mean that's the issue of lazy loading from the parent entity side so why it is happening so why uh, why this is uh, behaving like this okay so now let's just resume this flow okay so i will uh, tell you at high level so here if you see so yeah if you if you just uh, observe this particular diagram okay so this is parent entity child entity side in the child entity side we have a foreign key column so here with employee underscore id so whenever we uh, we, ha we have a fetch is equal to fetch type dot lazy and eager so here this uh, internally this lazy loading works based on the concept of proxy so it will happily form the proxy by looking at this uh, foreign key column okay so it will come to know that uh, okay uh, so employee id is a valid value or null or so based on that it will take the decision of this proxy object and accordingly it will it will fetch its, its respective employee details so that's why both lazy loading and eager loading is working fine as expected in the case of a child entity okay but in the case of parent entity if you see here okay we we do not have any additional column similar to this employee underscore id over here so that's why uh, whenever we uh, we form a lazy loading okay so then the parent entity side obviously uh, what do you say it will form a laptop proxy since we uh, since we uh, have a fetch type dot lazy so in that case hibernate uh, internally has ambiguity so what exactly this laptop so there are two possibilities this laptop could be a null or a valid proxy right so why because uh, I mean just to have a confirmation it does not have a additional column so right so since there are two possibilities hibernate uh, uh, hibernate has a i mean ambiguity uh, what is it to to form a, a proxy object right so so that proxy could be null so that's why that's why what happens i mean even though you specify fetch is equal fetch type dot lazy internally it is firing two queries to fetch the employee details and the second query is to fetch the laptop details instantly right so so somehow we need to inform to hibernate right so in order to uh, make it work 
so i mean so there are two solutions okay so solution number one here is <clears throat> so just remove this uh, uh, association at near identity side just remove this particular piece of paper okay so just only rely on the at the one to one association in the child entity end only okay so then the question will arise then if I, if at all i want to uh, fetch uh, uh, employee details and its respective laptop details then how how do i how do i do that? okay so the solution uh, the answer for that question is okay we need to maintain shared primary key concept within the child entity side with the help of at the rate map side annotation so then what happens i mean so this uh, employee underscore id acts as a uh, both uh, uh, what is a uh, foreign key column of uh, this child entity and as well as a primary key column of child entity side also okay so in that in that case what happens we don't have this particular id so the primary key for this child entity is also a employee underscore id and as well as it also acts as a foreign key column of uh, uh, this parent entity okay so by that way what happens 100% uh, i mean uh, what you say employee underscore id will be uh, having a non null value right so then i mean so then whenever we want to uh, fetch uh, 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 what do you say laptop details of any specific employee just for just uh, what happens just come to child entity and fetch a laptop uh, entity details where employee underscore id is equal to so something okay so by that way we can fetch right and even in a what you say a laptop repository also you can uh, you can have one derived query like uh, for example find uh, uh, find uh, sorry you know, find laptop by employee id or something like that right so by so that is uh, that is a solution number one and the solution number two is okay no 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 still i want to uh, maintain a bi-directional association but uh, i mean uh, what you say i need uh, lazy loading with uh, with them with them uh, with the maintenance of this bi-directional association so in that case what we need to do okay so just keep at rate one to one association here also like this as per the diagram and then we need to uh, activate the lazy loading bytecode uh, uh, what you say instrumentation okay so at the compile time itself so in somewhere in the bomb.xml in the build phase we need to add one uh, hibernate enhanced maven plugin and we need to add a few annotations at rate lazy to one so then what happens whenever you just build your project internally in the compile time itself uh, it will uh, uh, what you say activate that uh, bytecode instrumentation so by that way even lazy loading also works fine as expected even from the parent entity side so i'm going to cover those two solutions in the next videos yeah so uh, so <clears throat> so we will just recap what we learned here okay so yeah, so child entity side, that means it on the laptop side, eager loading fetches a child entity and its respective parent entity in a single query. So that is a joint query. So that's what we have already gone through, right? Now coming to lazy loading from the child entity side. So lazy loading works with the proxy object, okay? So initially it fetches only laptop details and later if we try to fetch corresponding employee, uh, employee so then it will internally fire say one more separate query, right? So that is a uh, that is obviously a joint query right now now what happens from the parent entity side so from the parent entity side always it acts as a eager loading only so even though if we specify fetch is equal fetch type dot lazy just know i mean i have already shown both the scenarios right so yeah as i said just now so the solutions for this issue is activate lazy loading bytecode enhancement or otherwise remove uh, one to one association from the parent side and with the help of at the rate maps id at the child entity side you can happily uh, what you say uh, fetch uh, uh, fetch uh, what you say uh, laptop details uh, for a specific employee id right so that these two solutions i'm going to cover in the next videos yeah yeah thanks for watching my video if you like my video just uh, uh, like and share and subscribe uh, my channel thank you